come to dig 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 and let's add a custom tool tier to minecraft all right we find ourselves back in Intelli once more and in this tutorial we're going to be adding a custom tool tier to minecraft now what does that even mean it means the following you know that certain blocks like obsidian can only be mined with for example a diamond pickaxe now we're going to do the same thing but we're also going to make it so that certain blocks can only be mined with netherite and certain blocks can only be mined with our custom tool material so well let's just take a look for the custom tool material we basically in the item package just going to create a new java class called the t mod tool material class now this is going to be a little bit weird because what we're going to do is we're going to implement the tool material interface right here but then what we're going to do is we're going to not implement anything but click on this press ctrl h and look at the tool materials from net minecraft item and what i'm just going to do is i'm just going to copy over the contents of this because this will always look the same this is basically always the same thing just copy the contents over here you're going to get some errors that is absolutely no worries the error is because the constructor doesn't have the right name so you just name it mod tool material and then all of the errors should go away these ones are going to be fine so these errors will go away once we change this from a class to an enum and now no more errors should be present and in theory you can now have you know wood stone iron diamond gold and netherite you know your tool materials right here the great thing about this is that you have access to those values so you can basically take a look at them and then so you can change them if you wanted to for example now we're just going to keep netherite but i'm going to rename this to tanzanite and now very important the mining level here is going to be five because once again right so if we take a look at this mining level for diamond is three netherite is four and then anything above it you know we can just change this basically durability let's just say like something like 1800 mining speed is going to be a little bit less than netherite but maybe the attack damage is going to be way more or you know something like that maybe no maybe maybe only maybe only like seven that's okay and then enchantability is going to be a lot as well and then here we actually don't need all of this insanity we can just do following we just make a supplier of an ingredient so this is going to be ingredient dot of item and it's going to be mod items dot tanzanite so this is going to then going to be the ingredient that we are going to be able to repair this with if you run into an issue that this lazy doesn't work properly right you can just literally replace this with a supplier i highly actually i highly recommend doing this one way or the other because there really isn't any reason to have this anyway so you can basically just do this and then there you go this is our supplier of ingredient and then there you go so this should be pretty much fine now this class is of course as always available to you in the description below you can pass to an individual just as well and now we have this that's great so this is now mining level five absolutely no worries now let's go into the mod items class and let's just create a new pickaxe in this case we're just going to make a new tanzanite pickaxe so we're just going to create the pickaxe in this case but the idea goes exactly the same for everything else you need the tool materials only once and then you can use them for all different types of items basically so for all different types of tools this is going to be a pickaxe item this is going to be mod i uh, mod tool material there you go mod tool material dot tanzanite you know the attack damage maybe a little bit less for a for a pickaxe attack speed maybe also a little bit less there you go max count one that should pretty much i think that this should be default but it's gonna be fine and then there you go so now we have a tanzanite pickaxe that has mining level five now first of all let's add all of the you know things that we need to always add for items right the translation over here nothing too crazy there you go tanzanite pickaxe and then let's add the item model file as well right just points to a you know to a normal texture over here this is like at this point we've seen this plenty of times before so i think that you should be able to get the, the, do this on your own even but that's gonna be okay so now we have this this and this so now the actual tanzanite pickaxe is in game but we don't have any block at the moment that can only be mined with netherite or only mined with our custom tanzanite tool so to do this what you want to do is you're going to go to the data folder you're going to make a new directory called fabric in there you're going to make a new directory called tags instead of there you're going to make a new directory called blocks and now this is very important right we know the from minecraft the block tags are needs diamond tool needs iron tool needs stone tool in fabric what we need is we need a needs tool level underscore four dot json this is going to be the netherite one so for example um we do have some things in here so let's say the tanzanite ore can only be mined with this let's actually get the entire thing over here right and then the netherite ore let's say right can only be mined with 
netherite because netherite is tool level four let's get this out of here right so then the ore block will only be able to be mined with netherite and above let's just copy this by dragging it into the same folder while holding control and then we're going to do needs tool level five now this is our custom tool level right and what we're going to do is we're just going to say this is then going to be the tanzanite block so let's get that out of there as well and then in needs tool level five we're going to say okay the tanzanite block is the can only be mined with our tanzanite tr pickaxe and funnily enough, that's actually all that you need to do to basically add this. Be sure that the JSON files here under the data fabric tags blocks folder so that that is, you know, correct. They're named correctly. So it has to be needs underscore tool underscore level underscore, you know, and then four, five, six or what, however, basically many you want to do. And the level number here, of course, refers back to the mining level that we've made the tool material with. So pretty much should be fairly self-explanatory. You can now just add, you know, other ones as well, right? So you can just basically copy this over, change this around, and then, you know, maybe make a shovel item so, uh, and continue along with that. And then you also have a custom pool tier so that you can basically specify with what certain blocks are mined with. Well, a little bit of a typo snuck in. This is, of course, not a pickaxe pickaxe. This is a tanzanite pickaxe. There you go. That's actually kind of a funny typo. I'm not going to lie. But now everything should work. So let's go into the game. All right, so we find ourselves in Minecraft again, and we have a diamond pickaxe, a netherite pickaxe, and a tanzanite pickaxe. And of course, in theory, those two blocks should only be mineable with, well, netherite here and tanzanite here. Let's first of all try the diamond, and you can see it does take a little bit longer, and as you can see, nothing drops from it exactly how we'd expect it to. Now, the netherite should be able to mine the ore, let's see. And there we go, something drops, absolutely amazing, but it should not be able to mine the block itself exactly what happens now the tanzanite pickaxe however should be able to mine the block let's see and there we go able to mine the block and of course the ore as well because in this case you know everything works if it's the level or higher so that's pretty much how you can add custom tool levels to minecraft and that's gonna be it for this tutorial right here i hope you found this useful and you learned something new and i'll see you all in the next tutorial so yeah